Merry Christmas, everybody. Looks like Santa came. I got some parts for my Honda Trail 70 snow bike. It's been one heck of a week here. So now that I have some parts in, we're gonna figure out how we want to build this guy. You know, last week it was five below zero and 10 mile an hour um, wind and we got snowed in. So we've not been able to get a lot of work done. And the funny thing is this week it was 22 degrees below zero and 35 mile an hour sustained winds. Absolutely nuts. Okie dokie. Let's try to be a little careful with the knife here. It was funny when I was building my XL100, I was just going through bags like this with uh, one of these razor knives and I went right across the top of the seat cover. So that was nice. I got, I got to order a brand new seat cover. Oh, this looks like my universal intake for the 110cc engine. You can kind of see let's see here these guys are right here bing 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 you can i can mount it to the engine like this 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 or this 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 forward or back i think this is a seat so no. <laughs> let's be careful this time so i don't have to buy another seat cover yeah it's kind of bad i had to strip out my life and Trail 70 knockoff to build my real Trail 70. So now I get to go ahead and build, or have, I have to buy all these expensive parts over again. But actually, this looks pretty darn nice. Cool. It's got the little doodads here. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at that reproduction seat pan. Not terrible. Seat cover looks like it's decent material. I might have to make a stencil and put Yamaha right here. I mean, I'm kind of sad that the mail didn't show up. I would have a lot more parts and I could start building this thing to completion, but oh well, we'll have to wait a week. What's in here? Oh, a gas tank. Cool. Oh, it's plastic. Oh, well, don't have to worry about rusting. Well, that's cool. Yeah, the one that came on my Chinese bike was um, metal. Oh, this one, actually even has reserve huh i might actually have to pull my trail 70 apart and put this tank in there because my the one in the trail 70 doesn't have a reserve i kind of like that this possibly a muffler i don't know we'll see yep this is a knockoff trail 70 style muffler for the 125 cc pit butt or 125cc trail 70s. Oh yeah, that, oh, there goes my pop. Okay, let's start over. Yeah, it's a pretty decent quality muffler. It'll work great on the snow bike. This looks to be my 1975. Or I think actually I think it was 1977 um, Honda XL125 forks, a little bit longer forks than the ones that came on the trail bike. These guys should be perfect. Yep, triple tree looks nice. Fork tubes have a little bit of rust on them but i think i can clean that up with some steel wool might have to put some well, what in the heck is this
What in the heck is all the racket out here? Oh. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so one problem I just realized, I've got a 12 millimeter bearing that comes in the snow track, but the swing arm pivot point on the trail 70 frame, or at least the Chinese knockoff one is 10 millimeter. So and that's gonna go into there, but no luck there. But nothing this guy can't fix. All right, let's double check this before I get to cutting. Should be the one. And you can kind of see on these frames here, on the stamped frame, they've got a big old washer weld on the outside and the inside to give it a little meat. That should be plenty strong. Yeah. Now, two problems I have. These sections I have marked off in orange paint here, they kind of hit the frame right about there. So I'm gonna to have to clearance this out a little bit with the cutoff wheel. And also, the sprocket on the jack, jack shaft here is a little bit too far out, so it doesn't quite line up with the um, sprocket on the engine. So, let's see here. I've got a few washers. What I'll end up doing, once I clearance this out, I'll probably stack a handful of washers on this side, maybe just one on this side so I kick the whole ski over about, oh, three-eighths of an inch, not three-eighths, about a quarter inch, and hopefully the sprocket will line up then. Well, let's go grab the cutoff wheel. Okay, so I think I want to put the fork on, so I need to find some bearings. So I'll open up my bin of very nice Honda parts. I think I've got some bearings in here somewhere. No, uh, nope, nope. There they are. Let's put the fork on. Now I know I don't have all the bearings I need, but yeah, we'll just put a few in for testing, we'll be fine. Boom, a little grease. Let's put these guys right here where I'll lose them. So I just realized something on the snow track swing arm. I've got a problem where I'm not going to be able to get my lower engine bolt in. So I'm going to have to take cut off wheel and probably just chop this section off right here. Should be plenty strong because there's plenty of welds still around here. I don't think, yeah, it's not going to be a problem. I'll just take the cutoff wheel, clearance this all out on both sides. I should be able to get my motor bolt through there, and we'll get an engine inside this thing. So 
So my shock hasn't shown up on the slow boat from China yet. So for now, I think we'll just pop this in here like this. Just to hold the bike off the ground a little bit. There, perfect. Good enough for now. Maybe I think about hopefully two weeks that shock will be in here and we'll just kind of have to build a mount back here. Pop it in like that and we'll have this, we'll have this really cool little mono shock on the sky. But that's gonna have to work for now. Okay, so one thing I fi just figured out, if I were to put my sprocket on right here and then the little retainer, I noticed I'm gonna come back here, I don't know if you can see. <clears throat> Chain has got a little bit too much angle here. I mean, with such a short throw here, I don't think we're gonna get by with having that much uh, angle here without throwing, or, or without having problems throwing chains. So I think, and I wouldn't recommend doing this at home, if anybody tells me this is a terrible idea, let me know. I'm going to put the retainer clip on first. Right in there. And then our sprocket, right on the outside of the shaft. I don't know if <clears throat> this bearing is gonna end up uh, going out with that little extra torque on there or if it's gonna wobble around i've got no idea but it's just a junkyard engine so i don't care but once we have that set up like that i'll probably take some get rid of these and run some longer m6 bolts all the way through the retaining clip and put a nut with some loctite on both sides but the nice thing now that chain lines up Perfectly. Well, I made pretty good progress today. I got the swing arm mounted up, still waiting on my shock. Engine's ready to go. Probably work on the wiring in the near future. But that's really, I think, all the time I got for this week. And next time, I think we need to figure out how I want to get the skis on here. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that video. And in the meantime, if you want to check out more content, you can click the video on the left. Or you can click the video on the right if you want to see last week's video. And I'll see you next time.